I have created a tribe and I have made over 6 figures from trading. Here's my plan with full honesty. Make sure that you watch this video in order every single second if you want to become a consistently profitable trader and you also want to be part of my tribe. Please do not flick around or skip through the video because you won't understand what I'm saying. This is the one video I want you to watch every single second if you are serious about becoming profitable. Now what you can do is to change the setting of the video to change it to like 1.5 times speed just so that you can go quicker. So there are a few stages I want to go through and we're going to start with stage 0. So stage 0, I call stage 0 the discovery and learning stage. So this is when you discover forex trading or trading in general. You have probably already passed this stage, so good for you. But basically, this stage is when you discover trading. So either through like social media or like you see your friend trading and then you're like, oh my god, that's the good way to make money. So I'm going to jump into trading too. So either through social media or friends or even like when you are researching on how to make money online. So you went to research and you see that there's a lot of ways to make money online. Drop shipping, affiliate marketing, and then you come across trading, which happens to be like one of the easiest way to make money online, which is what you thought. So after you've discovered trading, then you start consuming content about trading. You start watching videos about trading and you start reading books about trading just to like make sure you learn everything you can about trading, right? So that you can really make money online from trading. And this stage is also when you learn everything you can about trading, which is like support and resistance, and then also your trend lines, you know, all of like the technical analysis stuff you learn it in this stage so for me i personally discovered forex trading from my friend called brian right so this is the guy called brian and he have been trading for like a few years so i discovered forex trading through him he was like yo bro i'm making money doing this thing and you should totally do it too man yeah so this is brian and then i've also discovered forex trading when i was like researching online on how to make money online right I was literally like three years ago, I was literally like ghosting searching on online on oh how to make money online and then I come up with so many ways. I was like so conflicted on like which one to choose and then I wanted to go drop shipping. But then you need like a, a, a amount of money to go into drop shipping, right? And I was broke. I have no money. How can I go into drop shipping without any capital? So that way is not feasible and then there is real estate real estate also need money you need money to buy real estate so also not possible and then that is when forex trading forex trading you can start trading forex with $100 as long as you have $100 even $50 you can start trading forex that was like yo that is that is it this is it this is it this is what i'm going to dedicate my life to and this is what i'm going to be like focusing on learning so that i can really really become rich from trading job so this is when you start learning about technical analysis so you dive into like support and resistance levels trend lines and also your japanese candlesticks you know like you're just basically like getting your hands onto every single thing that is to know about trading and how to analyze a chart and you also trade on your demo account right your demo account so you just play around and see like whatever you just learned is good enough you just like play around and just apply whatever you just learned so that is your stage zero next you go into stage one the first stage ever so this is what i call the practicing stage practicing so this stage is when you start opening your first live account your first live trading account and to be honest you actually make some good trades and you make some like profits could be like $100 or $50 or you make some nice profits right and now that you make some nice profits on your first live trading account you think that you are the best trader in the world right I'm the best right now nobody is better than me I'm the best this is a crown by the way yeah so now you think that you are the best trader in the world so you think that oh I'm the best because I just flipped $50 to $500 right so that is why you have this ego in your mind right now you think that you can conquer the market you think that you can predict what is gonna happen next every single time and this is what i call the beginner's luck 
right? Beginner's luck. I'm not trying to like pop your barber or anything, but beginner's luck is very, very much real in trading. So your account will look something like this. You start making some nice profits, and then this is all beginner's luck, right? But then the reality starts hitting in, and the reality starts setting in, and you start, your account start going down. You start losing more money than you're supposed to, and guess what? You just blow that account. Yup, so, so you were too busy flipping small accounts and making some nice profits, but you have absolutely no idea about risk management. You have absolutely no idea about risk management or you just don't care at all because you are focusing on becoming a millionaire trader in one month, right? And this is also what I call the honey moon phase the honeymoon phase so you just like buy and sell randomly based on your gut feeling and you just make money even though the trade was so bad but you still made money because of beginner's luck because of beginner's luck so you just make money no matter what no matter how good that trade is you still make money because of beginner's luck i bet a lot of you are thinking like no 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 i did not get beginner's luck i was skillful i was good at trading Trust me bro, you are not. You are not that good. I hate to break it to you, but it is beginner's luck. So if you think that, oh, 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 I, I'm, I'm actually good. That's your ego speaking. That is not you. You are not that good, buddy. That is your ego speaking. And that same ego is going to prevent you from getting success in trading, from getting rich in trading. Yeah, like I said, I hate to break it to you, but beginner's luck do not last forever. After maybe a few months or after one month, beginner's luck start to fade, right? And then as you start trading more and more, you realize that you made these profits because you got lucky and not because of your skill. Which brings us to stage two. Stage two, man. Stage two is what I call the losing stage. The losing stage. This is absolutely the worst stage to be in. But this stage separates the profitable traders from the 90% of the traders who are complete losers. So this is when you keep losing money. You keep losing a lot of money. You keep losing money from when you are trading at this stage. You start blowing accounts after accounts. Like you deposit $500 into your account, right? Into your account. But then you blow that account. So $500 went to $0 and then you start depositing more money into your trading account and then you blow that account once again and you start depositing more money and just blow the account so it's like a very vicious cycle so the more you trade the less you actually win and then you start seeing that your losses are actually like way bigger than your winners so you make $50 but when you lose you actually lose $500. Which means that when you win, you actually win a little bit of amount of money. But when you lose, you lose a huge sum of money, a lot of money. And then you start panicking and start blaming the market. So you say, F the market. Forex trading is a scam. Oh, stocks is a scam. Crypto is a scam. It's impossible to make money trading. So you say, F the market. F the market. Let me just draw the market. Yeah, F the market. And then you also start trying different strategies and indicators like your MACD, your RSI, your Bollinger Bands, and just try like different, different indicators to see like what works and ultimately nothing seems to work you still continue losing even though you have tried every single strategy in the world why why does that happen do you ever ask yourself why and this is when 95 percent of traders give up because they are not making money and they feel like they have failed and they say bye bye to this market bye bye freaking losers mentality man losers mentality most of you are probably stuck in this stage this stage two of losing and if you are in this stage keep watching this video because i'm gonna teach you how you can get the fuck out of this depressing stage so the next stage is stage three stage three is a very very crucial stage right so this is what i call the learning and improving stage the learning and improving stage remember just now when i said that 95 percent of traders give up 
that means that only 5% are persistent and they are not crying and blaming the market for their failure. They are taking responsibility like real strong humans. Honestly, just think about it. When a baby, let's say this is a little baby, when a baby, he's practicing, he's learning how to walk. Do you think like after he fall down a few times, he starts giving up? Of course not. The baby continues to walk until he eventually begins to walk. Until he eventually begins to walk normally because he do not give up. And if you are giving up, you are no worse than a freaking 3-year-old baby who just give up walking. How freaking shameful is that bro? Yup, so basically this stage is when you actually like start discovering your risk management and you also start crafting your trading plan, your trading plan, your risk management and this is when you start like doing the good habits of a professional trader. Yup, so this stage is when you start following your trading plan and you also like follow proper risk management rules like your how much money you are risking per trade and then you are also using the right lot size the correct lot size so you're basically doing all like the you know like what the good professional traders do they are following proper risk management rules and they are following their trading plan all the time yeah at this point of time you are not making a lot of money but you are not losing anymore that's the key point here that is itself is worth celebrating. That's the magical thing about this stage. You are not losing anymore. You have not made any money, but you are not losing. So you are kind of like break even. That itself is worth celebrating because you are one step closer to becoming a successful trader. And to be honest, this is the most important milestone of your trading journey this is the most important it is not about finding the 99 percent win rate strategy no it is this learning and improvement stage this stage is what is gonna like separate the losers from the winners the top five percent from the rest of the 95 percent and i've dedicated my life to this mission to help you improve so at this stage what i want you to do is to copy me literally copy me copy how i trade and basically like just go watch all the videos to gain a perspective of how i personally trade and then implement my advice on trading strategy your psychology your risk management you should especially watch the unfiltered trading episodes because the unfiltered trading episodes is literally like my thought process on how i personally trade like i don't script my unfiltered trading episodes videos no none of that it's literally like i start recording and i start like telling you guys how i analyze the chart and basically give you guys some psychology tips on how to actually become like a profitable trader yeah so make sure you guys go watch every episode of the unfiltered trading episode from episode one all the way to like the latest episode which is i don't know like 12 or something just go watch every single unfiltered trading episode to learn how i personally trade once you learn how I personally trade, you can implement my advice. I don't care if you like take 5% out of the videos or take like, or you learn like 10% out of it. You do not have to learn like, absorb like every single thing that I say and trade exactly like I do. No, the point here is go like learn from my videos, take some of my advice and implement some of it into your trading journey. You don't have to implement it all of it because ultimately what works for you might not work for you, me, right? Just make sure you go like watch them and just like implement the advice because if you just watch the videos alone and you do not implement the advice, you are still gonna be continue losing and you're still gonna be stuck at stage two. Which brings me to stage four. Stage four. So stage four is what I call the profitable stage i'm pretty sure all of you guys are like waiting for have been waiting for this stage right after months or years of struggling this is when you eventually finally become a profitable trader and this is a very, very beautiful place to be but this is not the final stage yet. So you have essentially reached the stage where you are like so disciplined, like a monk-like disciplined trader, and you can't help but to follow your trading plan and your risk management rules every single time you trade. 
if you do not follow your trading plan, you actually feel like shit because like, shit, I did not follow my trading plan. It's a good thing, right? It's a good thing because now, following your trading plan and your risk management rules, it eventually became a habit now. Now it's a habit. Now it's a habit that you find it very, very hard to get rid of. And that is really, really a beautiful stage to be because right now you are disciplined like a freaking monk. Since you are so disciplined, the market eventually rewards you for your hard work. So for years or even for months, this is your account growth, right? You seen like your account going flat, losing money, blowing accounts after accounts, not making money for years or even months, right? Years or months. And then, Right now, you became disciplined. You start following your risk management plan every single time. You use a right lot size. You use the position size calculator. And you also start controlling your emotions more. You do not let the market affect your emotions anymore. And this is when, right here, you start seeing consistent growth in your account. You start seeing money, hundreds or even thousands of dollars actually start coming into your account and you actually start making some really really nice profits not just like the random profits where you make a lot of money and then start losing a lot of money no you actually start making consistent profits and your account growth looks something like this your account actually like starts going up instead of like in your first stage where you just make money lose money make money lose money no now it's like consistent growth and this stage is when you are finally going to create generational wealth this stage is when you are finally going to create the amount of wealth where you are eventually gonna become rich. You're gonna get rich from this stage. So this is when you achieve the three types of freedom, which is what I call the LTF. So LTF basically stands for location freedom, time freedom, and financial freedom. This is what we have been working so hard for. This is what you have been struggling for years to achieve. This is your goal to make this, to achieve this freedom. This is your goal to achieve this freedom, to achieve financial freedom so that your family is set, so that you can provide for your family, so that you can buy the car that you want. You can, you can buy the house that you want. You can buy whatever the fuck you want without worrying about the price tag. And this it's not just it. There is also your time freedom. Your time freedom. This means that you are in charge of your own schedule now. Like you don't have to like listen to a boss anymore. Like a boss telling you, hey bro, you have to report to work at 9 a.m. tomorrow. No, none of that. Because you have quit your job and you are just focused on trading. And now you can sleep till like 10 a.m. And you're like, you know what? I slept till 10 a.m. And I can still make money today because I can always trade the London session or New York session, whatever. Because now you have the freedom to work whenever you want. Whenever you want to work, you can just work. There is no boss like nagging at you to, hey bro, go to the work or you are fired. None of that. And then there is also your location freedom. So your location freedom is when you can work wherever you want. You can be sitting on a nice beach with a laptop in your lap and make money. And you can travel the world and make money trading. And god damn, these three types of freedom, once you achieve these type, three types of freedom, trust me, it's... You're gonna be so happy, man. You're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be the most happy that you have ever been because now you don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about working for a freaking evil boss and making him rich. You are making your own self rich. You have own freedom. You have a lot of freedom. And this is what you have been working so hard for. The three types of freedom. The LTF. Congratulations. You can stop here. But trust me when I say that it is not as fulfilling as you thought it was. I, I'm pretty sure that you thought that when you reach this stage, you're going to be so happy and so fulfilled. But that is not the truth. I have learned this the hard way because I don't know about you, but when I reached this stage, I felt something was empty. I wasn't particularly fulfilled. I was happy but not really fulfilled. I still felt like something was empty, which brings me to the next stage, the final stage. So the final stage when you are gonna feel fulfilled and really feeling happy is called your stage five. And this is what I call the self-actualization stage. This is what I call the self-actualization stage. So the stage five, the self-actualization stage is where you are like literally on the top of your trading journey. This is the best place to be in. This is when you actually start helping others. You start helping others. 
because you feel like you make money alone that's not really fun right you make money alone trading that's not really fun you don't really feel fulfilled because ultimately how you feel fulfilled is by helping others and changing other people's life so basically i've helped you from stage zero to stage five so you actually start recruiting those guys at stage zero those guys at stage zero so it all works out this is what the tribe is about I help you go through all these stages you reach the point of self-actualization through my help so you start recruiting other people to start trading and also join my tribe you share my videos to your friends and your family and you basically help them to learn more about trading and they join my tribe and a tribe gets bigger and bigger and we start changing the world one step by step so there might be one question on your mind right now why why are you doing all this the trading gig why are you doing all this bread why am i making all these videos to help you guys okay like you want more people into trading but why the truth is i want more friends I want more guys who are on this trading journey. I want more brothers. I want to start a revolution like a whole new generation of people who are not just interested in finding the 99.9% .9 win rate strategy but instead are focusing on risk management and psychology. I feel alive when I talk to someone who actually knows what is going on in the market. I want a group of people who achieve financial success through trading and they use that money to help their friends and family in need. Because I'm at a stage of achieving freedom and I know how happy and fulfilling that is to just like give my family money, give my friends money whenever they need it. To be honest, I want to make the world a better place. I'm at a point of self-actualization and it's quite lonely at the top then there is like not much other people here with me so i'm throwing down the rope i'm at the top of the bucket and i'm giving you my arm because it would be so much nicer if i had another brother by my side at the top of the bucket and we're just like pulling all the little losers out of the bucket together that's the point of this tribe and i hope that you will join me so make sure you comment down below and tell me what stage are you in because i'm assuming that you are in either the stage zero stage one or stage two and make sure you like this video so that this video can reach out to much more people and the tribe actually become bigger so we can essentially help much more traders out there and also hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it welcome to the tribe and remember you are just one trade away. Mm -hmm.